What movie is simply magical to you, no matter how popular or unpopular it may be? Jurassic Park. I know it's a popular movie to begin with, but I absolutely adore it. I am 17, so I've never had the hands to see it in theaters on the big screen. And that's one f the things I wish for the most I am not sure what about makes me like it so much. I just do. Edit. Some words. Secondhand lions. Cheesy and heavy-handed at times. But well cast and heartwarming. A wonderful combination of coming of age and classic adventure storytelling. With a healthy dose of whimsy and wholesome life lessons. Plus. Berkeley breathed of Bloom County and Opus. Drew the comics that adult Walter has in his studio in the intro, epilogue. Asterisk, sometimes. The things that may or may not be true. Are the things worth believing in the most that people are basically good. That honor, courage, and virtue mean everything. That power and money. Money and power mean nothing. That good always triumphs over evil. And I want you to remember this. That love. True love never dies. Asterisk Robert Duvall as hub. Big trouble in little China. I saw Hook and Mouse Hunt as a kid during Christmas time and so those have both the residual child. And Christmas magic going for M. I also will never not feel in awe of Titanic. That opening scene with the first shot of the Titanic and the swelling music. The Mummy. Asterisk Jurassic Park. Asterisk. I'm 32 years old. And every fucking time I hear that music play and Alan and Ellie see the Brachiosaurus for the first time, I'm immediately transported back to being a five-year-old. There's no movie that has better captured that feeling of sheer wonderment. Cashiers of Reddit. Do you judge us customers by the products or quantity of products we buy? What are some stereotypes? I worked in a bookstore for several years and I absolutely judged people who insisted on paying in. Exact change. Especially when there was a line. I actually had an older lady count out 195 pennies for a bookmark once only to come up a couple. Short and pay for it with a five. As a previous late-night cashier at both Safeway, Wawa, and Papa John's, I care very little about what you are buying. Honestly, doesn't cross my mind in the slightest how much longer I have to sit in that hellhole was usually my main thought. Three more hours. Fuck. Point one more hour? I guess I can manage. The fact that you're buying a triple pepperoni double anchovy large pizza all for yourself at 3 a.m.? I really don't care actually. Can you just stop coming at 3 a.m. so I don't have to be here that late? Not at all. We serve so many people and handle so many products. We will already have forgotten what you bought by the time we're serving the next customer. Having said that. I had an internal chuckle at how common it was for people to buy condoms and pregnancy tests at the same time. I was a cashier during high school and a brief stint in my mid-twenties. Didn't judge. You want the Left Behind series? Great. You want James Patterson's newest book? Fine. You want asterisk 50 shades of gray asterisk? Grand. Just don't be rude. And listen to the spiel cashiers are required to give on whatever product the company wants them to push. Just say, no thank you. Don't go on about how, I already donate to a charity, or saying, no, before they even open their mouths. I used to work at a drugstore through college and hardly ever found myself judging anyone's purchases. Sometimes they'd buy a really tacky perfume and spritz it 20 times on themselves before leaving. But that wasn't really a judgment on their purchase. I will say though, to any people who feel weird about it, we aren't judging you for buying rubbers. You don't have to feel scared to walk up with the box. We're just happy you're being safe and 10 times out of 10. I wasn't even paying attention. 
generally we barely notice and we don't care. The only thing that would make me judge what you were buying was if it were somehow related to your shitty behavior or personality. For example, people who buy cigarettes and lottery can sometimes be very rude about it. Saying things like, give me a package of X brand, or, give me two plays on tonight's draw. I-D-K-Y. But ask any cashier who sells these items regularly and they'll confirm it's a thing. So would I notice someone buying nothing but cigarettes and lotto? No. Would I notice it is there being an asshole? Yup. If you're asking do we make fun of people who buy like 20 packs of condom and lube and nothing else? Or 50 enemas on flyer deal? I have sold these exact quantities of these exact items before. The answer is no. Do I remember it? Obviously. But it's not something I'd make a point of being a jerk about to the customer or to my coworker. Later. It's like whatever. What's the best way to make 10 cent ramen taste like 20 cent ramen? Fresh garlic will make it taste like 25 ramen. Seriously. Though it makes a huge difference for such a small addition. Add an egg. Anything that's not dehydrated will improve ramen. A little onion. Garlic. Chives. A soft boiled egg. A little bit of sesame oil or chili oil. Kimchi. A little leftover chicken. Warm up some frozen peas and corn and put that in your soup. Fresh veggies w old be even better. What we like to do is boil the noodles but then drain the water out. Add a pad of butter. Seasoning packet and milk to make a sort of creamy sauce. Top it off with a fried egg or some frozen grilled chicken strips. Eat with chopsticks. MSG. What is the best piece of advice someone has given you? You can't change the wind, but you can adjust your sails. The validation you seek from others is validation you refuse to give yourself. Asterisk someone on the internet's asterisk. Never miss a good opportunity to shut up. Sometimes you just need to recognize if your input is constructive or just so you can hear yourself. Speak. At any job. Seek out a competent, more experienced person to latch onto and gain whatever knowledge they have. Once you have learned all you can from them. Find someone else willing to share their knowledge. Repeat this throughout your career and you will go far. I can't remember who gave me this advice but it has served me well in my professional life. Wear sunscreen. If I could offer you one tip for the future, sunscreen would be it. If someone shows you who they are believe them. Maya Angelou. In other words don't ignore red flags. Don't make excuses for them. Don't justify their actions. If they show you they're a bad person, then they're a bad person. U.S. residents of Reddit. What is a lesser known fact about the state you live in? South Carolina is the only state where the second most practiced religion is Baha'i. Until World War I German was the most spoken language in PA. Papers were printed in it. Schools were taught in it. It was spoken in homes and businesses. Then we soured on Germany and in a matter of years it was erased except for place names. Last names. And the language of the plain people. The constitution of the state of Alabama is the longest. Still operative constitution in the world. India's. Which is the longest national constitution. Is only half the length of Alabama's and hash x200b. Also, Alabama is not even in the top 10 of most inbreeding states either. It's not mountainous enough I guess. Michigan has the only authentic Dutch windmill operating in the United States. So, there's that. It has, caves, https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash florida underscore caverns underscore state underscore park closing parenthesis florida we have the most horses per square mile nj 
Serious. Americans of Reddit. What do you dislike the most from American culture? Asterisk asterisk attention. Serious. Tag notice asterisk asterisk. Asterisk. Jokes. Puns. And off-topic comments are not permitted. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash askreddit slash wiki slash index hash wiki underscore dash rule underscore six dash in asterisk any asterisk comment parent or child asterisk parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed along with their child replies asterisk report comments that violate these rules Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour. And posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. Asterisk I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit. Message. Compose. To equals. R. Ask Reddit. If you have any questions or concerns, asterisk. Celebrity worship. We don't mind having someone get hurt or killed on a TV show. But heaven forbid we see a naked body in a non-sexual way. The coupling of ignorance and arrogance. The fetishization of backbreaking work. Being stressed. Sleep deprived. Etc. Conversely. The demonization of the path of least resistance. I'm gonna borrow an Isaac Asimov quote from 1982 because it conveys it so well. Greater than there is a cult of ignorance in the United States. And there has always been. The strain of anti-intellectualism has been a constant thread winding its way through our political and cultural life. Nurtured by the false notion that democracy means that my ignorance is just as good as your knowledge. Subscribe, my brothers.